the B Side Show. Like no, every single Monday night, man, doing this, man. DJ survives, even doing tricks hey. like during the commercial breaks and everything, man. Shout out to the homie Pause One, man. Hey. Uh, uh, new EP, I believe it's an EP, uh, Dance on My Grave, and that was uh, the new uh, single off that joint, the newest video, so Woo. make sure you follow him, pause one, what up man, hey, so we got our first guest of the evening, man, go ahead and introduce Woo. yourself, man. yeah, 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 uh, Eric Vintage out of Los Angeles, California, hey, lay baby, in the house, yeah, and see, we were just talking about this fallacy, but look, he repped the Lakers, yes, oh, yes, that's right, today. That's right. and, and the Dodgers, and the Dodgers. And the Dodgers. Dodgers, baby, you already know. Right. And, and we we're we were just saying how um, man, this year it's an understatement. It's been a crazy year. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of you know, a lot of negativity, a lot of crazy yeah. shit going on. Uh, pandemic still around and everything. Yeah. But for us, at least on this side, it was cool to get yes. those. Your those championships, man. Yeah, yeah. I was out there when they won too next to Staples Center. It was, oh, it was, all right. it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. We it were just cra- talking about shit. It was crazy. We were talking about how rowdy LA gets. And LA gets rowdy. I love LA, but we get oh, wild. You got a, a bird's eye view, right, Pally? Yes, and Jesus I, Christ. Pally people Sickles, were like literally. jumping onto people's cars. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, I was out there. No, it was yeah, it yeah. was crazy. <laughs> I was on top of the car. I, I was gonna say he's like, you saw me? I was up there. That's yeah. hilarious. Nah, it's all love. It's all it, which you know, car? Nah. It was super fun, but you know, always you have to be safe. Some oh, yeah, people saw, just take. Was, I saw some guns out there, or fireworks. Some people were just shooting in there. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, no, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, no, <laughs> but that. hey, they were being real safe, shooting it in the air. <laughs> in the air. <laughs> okay, hey, <laughs> good hey, traffic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, man. Hey, you guys celebrate responsibly, please, man. And, and also, you know what? Um, let's uh, try to be more responsible so we can get over this shit. And yes, that's right. Go right. back to having live shows again. Uh, yeah. On that note, though, man, uh, you still found a way to uh, create some music, man. Go ahead, speak on it, man. And and, and was this pre-pandemic already? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, man, the, uh, the, al- the album is called All In Stride. I just released it uh, late September. Okay. And uh, after my first album... Uh, 2015 it took me this long to uh, to actually get a full project perfect i'm like a annoying perfectionist i'm one of those guys so uh yeah my second solo album i needed to get it as perfect as i could get it for for the time being right now right and you said you kept going back and adding adding things to it were you like rearranging what were you like I, i felt like something was missing um i got a producer on there that goes by aj so i've been working with my my most of my career and he's got a real uh nice like soulful jazzy type uh, he plays a lot of instruments but i needed some like something a little harder a little more like hip-hop some like spit over kind of shit so it took me a while to find those beats and then i added those way at the end and then it sounded right so I right it right, right i yeah. didn't want to get it out of quarantine either but you know what can you do right yeah. so you you kind of knew the the blend you were going for and um yeah, I try to keep it like as versatile as possible. Just to try to cover all the bases, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I was listening to it earlier, and but it even even though it's versatile, it's super raw. It's super like thorough into like the concept and the meanings that you have behind each song. Oh, thank, you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. try to, I try to. Definitely. And you said you wanted to get um something a little more hip hop. What were you able to find? Um, it was just too smooth. Like uh, without the uh, like the first song I'm gonna have y'all play is called Deep, and it's one of the first uh, finishing songs where I felt like oh, okay, I finally got to just spit some bars for fun. That way I don't have to talk about you know deep life shit, be my feelings all in every song kind of thing. Um, but it needed that because I I have more fun with that anyway. So um, yeah, I was just missing that kind of like boom bap hip hop element that I really needed. Yeah. Was there something uh, different that you were going for on this album as opposed to the first one? Or um, was it kind of the, uh, the same uh, chemistry? It, it was concept? similar. I just wanted it to be like like a, just an evolved, more perfect version of what the first one was. I, I, I'm still very fond of my first album. Um, but this one, I was this first album or project really where I felt uh, completely satisfied with the whole project. Yeah. And how many tracks? Uh, 14 tracks. So yeah, we're uh, we're probably gonna be coming out with a project for that one, and 
That's good stuff in the future, but for now. Yeah, what Hell up, yeah. Mark Love? Man. Yeah, how, how did you guys link? Um, man, Mark Love, I got nothing but extra love for that guy. He uh, he was kind of the first one who uh, got me on his show without knowing who I was off of uh, the quality of the album. Right. And he, he really loved my first one. So he got me on that show. We got pretty tight there. And then uh, I, we just got close over the years. Hear you on that. Uh, you know, I, I was like halfway in between. Like, I still like going to my shows and stuff, like yeah, live yeah, yeah. shows. Right. But I, I was like getting to the point where I was like, I'm cool at home, man. And I yeah, had just yeah. moved like about a year ago and I'm still like doing stuff to the pad. So I'm like, I'm cool here. But then when it, there's another part of me that's like, when it's forced, then it's like, uh, yeah. now, now I want to like, go do something. Now I want to get yeah. out there yeah, and yeah, do something. Sure. Motherfuckers are telling me what to no, do now, I, and I don't like it. I now, definitely <laughs> miss the hip hop shows. Oh, I miss the shows for sure. Yeah. I miss the shows, like some you of the best good festivals that were supposed to come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Some of those I wanted the, to go the to. The stuff that people are waiting for every yeah. year too, man. Some of the sessions too. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. Mark Love made a good point about it though. He said uh, one thing the quarantine is probably gonna do. It'll be like a like a reset for for hip hop acts and shit like. He, he thinks a lot of the uh, the quarantine might make a lot of the more less dedicated ones just fall off. I could kind of I don't know if that's true, but I could kind of see that. No, but I hear you though. To some degree. Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. everything's easy access right now, um, digitally. But performing yeah, wise, right. you know what I mean. There, you have to be a raw performer, like really give it your all if you're gonna captivate somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And yeah, virtually, if you're gonna do that, it, it's it's pretty has to be pretty raw, like she's saying, but. Yeah, and people have had to reinvent the the way they promote and yeah, everything yeah, like that. But, it, yeah. but I, I think he does have kind of a point. Kind of. Yeah, because <laughs> <Could> um, be. <laughs> because there's some people just strictly in it for um, you know maybe just that attention. That is clout. And those are the ones that are probably yeah, yeah. yeah not be around too much longer. But you've been doing your thing for a cool minute now. Long time now, yeah. Yeah, uh, almost ten years, almost. So uh, yeah. so where you're at now, um, you got your own, you got your own spot where you record. Uh, or... I've I've always had my own spot. I just um, that's how I've even really been able to get my solo albums out. I don't like uh, I don't like being on an engineer's time where I feel like I gotta rush my shit and. And uh, I just didn't feel like that was a good way to develop. So early on, I just um, I saved up to buy all my own equipment so that I could at least still put down my own recordings. And uh, I developed myself at home. I, I would not. I'll probably. I'll probably still be a little whack if uh, if I didn't get to do all that shit by myself. You know, just experimenting so you could just do stupid shit and use it or not use it if it's good or not. You know. Right. And then plus, just like when inspiration hits, you could just wake up in the middle oh, of yeah, the absolutely. fucking night, dog. Absolutely. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Plus, yeah. there's not too many uh, uh, engineers that want to record me at 4 a.m. Yeah. Right, right. Did <laughs> you, that happen a lot? You'd wake up I'm and like, night, let's I'm get to work. Owl. I'm yeah. a night owl. I like the quiet, to, you know. Coffee or smoke? Smoke. Smoke all day. I, I like a, a little weed with coffee. Then then I it gets you. Know, I like that yeah. too. That's a good combination <laughs> right there. Coffee. <laughs> Well, maybe a lot of weed and some coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the mix is good. I like the mix. Like yeah. Sprinkle it in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes, man. <laughs> hey, um, so with, with this one out now, and uh, it, um, let them know again where it's available and oh, all that uh, stuff. The album's called All in Stride. You can find it at ericvintage.bandcamp.com. That's the only place it's available now, but um, it'll be on all streaming platforms by the end of the month, um, along with a new music video uh, that I'm shooting next week. Um, so yeah, all that sh uh, all that'll be ready by this month, but it's already out on uh, on sale on Bandcamp right now. Hell yeah! So what are the the pros and cons about man? I know you do all this a lot of it yourself. You have creative control and all that stuff. I haven't had uh, I really haven't had too many cons from it. When I was with uh, when I was like if I was with Dusty Crates and that sort of thing. I was doing all the recordings and stuff like that, um, and it's like, I'm part of the group, I'm not going to charge them for the shit, so um, that could get kind of uh, uh, tiring, but on my own, it's, I don't really see any cons, really. Nice. Uh, Independent, man, he's doing yeah. his thing, man, that's right. Hey, uh, so what are we going to play? Let's play something, man. We're going to play one uh, of the, uh, the The first song is called Deep, um, it's off my album, but it is an LA Riot song with a... Uh, me featuring Maligner and uh, DJ Mark Love on the cuts on that one. DJ Survive on the ones Woo! and twos. Man. Misa. Speak. Shout out 
shout out to Mark Love, Maligner, man. What up, homies? Like a shuttle named Atlantis Well-rounded orbiting with no gears for landing So fly like your G6s land like them too Gassing out eventual, I fly higher truths Cloud high is cool, but I'm cold any gravity Water is our cool water, you full of antifreeze Freeze towels so cold, make your toes blue Winter wonderland, why y'all come in open toe shoes? I'm on spitting that hot shit with the frost bitten You see through like glass, crack with the temp shifting My pen mission to end them like they have been missing I need fans, I'm overheated when I rev engines Been sitting, listening, and steady bench pressing Getting shit off my chest, hoping that band's stretching A mere mention, a name, that's all it takes, homie It's like magic, you gone, all that is left smoking Smoke screen, weather the barrel of blown trees Locally known to be unseen Walking alone, G I wrote things you can't imagine in a whole week Wrote with the warning burn alive Trying to quote me Yo, 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 yo The first time I touched chronic I was just 13 In between passing classes Hear the school bell ring Heard the homies talking kush I'm like, what's that? It was time for a smoke of that light green dream When I rolled my first joint, all I did was burn paper Now I'm burning down ace, just a sample on the flavor Pick apart the stem stuff, nugs into the grinder Twist that with the funky and pass me a lighter Keep in thought I don't smoke for acceptance I gotta smoke to fight suicidal tensions Yeah, that's that shit that I hardly ever mention Redirect my thoughts into an almighty weapon Wedge that your motherfucking lifeline, son That just means that your raps in the heart, you're done If they really want grimy, goddamn it, I'm scum Knee deep in the trenches, give a fuck where you're from Risk my life for a tree that gave me a dream Now we taking over cities, potting schemes while you sleep Could've been a quick 10, but I kept my mouth shut Man, I'm only 24 and my story isn't done One, Yeah, that's that hip hop shit right there. Yeah, shout out to Jimmy Steve, Mark Love on the cut. That's right, man. This off the new project. Yeah, that's off the new project. That was like the finishing like touches that I needed for the album, just just to make it sound a little more raw, a little little uh, more hip hop, you know. So speaking of that, um, uh, coming up, who who are some of the inspirations as far as music, you know? Not just hip hop though, but just uh, sonically, what'd you like to listen to? Um, I've been listening, I listen to a lot of different shit, like a really wide range. Um, rap wise, uh, I like the TDE, of course, like Kendrick Lamar's Reason from TDE is real dope right now. Um, there's some young cats that, that, are, that are pretty dope too. I don't think, a lot of us old heads don't got excuses no more, man. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of dope young cats out. I can't even hate on that shit. Um, but I, I listen to a lot of like a uh, soul type shit. Um, Michael Kiwanuka from Europe, he's dope. Um, I like a lot of Tom Mish, you know that sort of thing. Uh, Griselda, I can't hate on Griselda. But most of their shit's pretty lit, you know. Yeah, and that and that was a wide range right there. Yeah, that's a wide range, bro. <laughs> yeah, like wide no, range. but that's a good thing, man, because you know we. Um, we, we sometimes when we when we bring that up, it's for that reason, like. For whoever might be watching or whatever, but it um, sometimes open your mind to some different stuff. Yeah, yeah, just see you'll what you'll trip yeah. out on what you find. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of influences. Like, if you can't answer that question well, then yeah, I don't want to hear. Oh, I listen to Tupac, Tupac, and Tupac every day. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Yeah. No, I only, right. I only right. listen to Tupac. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, let, let them know where they could get at you and all that stuff, man. Oh, that's right. Um, you can get at me on Facebook or Instagram at Eric Vintage. Um, Eric Vintage LA at gmail.com for email for booking or anything like that. Um, yeah, that's about it right there. Oh, okay. uh, Hell we're, yeah. We're going to play another one before we go. Uh, but uh, go ahead and make a shout yeah, out. Um, 
shit. Shout out to LA Riot. Shout out to the old Dusty Crates homies, Jimmy Ski, AJ Soul. Um, yeah, man, shout out to the whole camp. Shout out to Beat Side Show. Hey. I always got mad love for the real hip hop spots. Uh, West Covina, and I grew up here a little Woo. bit. So, yeah, man. Yeah, yes. he, he's been around. He's, I've been around. I'm yeah. an old guy now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah cause you, you know from over here, um, you were at where you and OC for yeah, a while. Yeah, Santa Ana for, for, right. for a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. now it, in L. A. So you know, he's, go he's cop a, that. Check out the next please. video coming out. Please. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys go get that man, Eric Vintage in the spot. What are we gonna get into? Uh, the next know? song is called "Faded Away." It's just my song for the weed heads. Um, but I'm gonna have a video out for this uh, later this month. Oh, that's oh, yeah. that's always cool. So we could smoke while we watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little something. Pump this shit one time, man. Eric Vintage, right here, man. Let's go. B side. Customers been bitching, man. I need to get my head straight. Call roll like brother, man. I'm broke as hell indeed. Need assistance like a point guard till four to sounds of trees. Collapse some twenties with a twin so we can get it in. Roll a blunt and then another one, cause I be having friends. OG with a swish of blunt is all I need, cause she know. I'm coming through, she got a house in the hills next to Chino. Like Snoop did, blowing O's like we pronouncing who kid. Such a pretty nod when I be playing her my new shit. Burning up the blunt till it's so short that it's a nuisance. Then head off to the studio to make that blazing music. Yeah, now I'll be straight up out the session, feeling fresh and soft perspective. Right trees that turn to fuck the world to live and let live. So I'll be on that jet engine, cheap and forget shit. Type of blended genetics that'll keep me on a head trip. Get me lost in these edits of audio waves perfected. Sound to feel the vibrations to receive the message. Universal, find my peace. You know the herbs do. Don't really need it to spit these words. I just prefer to. Mad weed to burn through. Whack trees concern you. You can miss me with that bullshit in the cypher. That's the first move. Puffin' passing. Nothing average. High as a fucking standard. Relay that fade while my music plays to a bad bitch. That's right, make sure you follow Eric Vintage, man. We're gonna get into one of his videos right now. We'll come right back with our next guest, man. It's the B Side Show. The day I find a way, shake off the blues and haze and blaze, thinking about yesterdays. Yeah. Feeling crazed from the night before, we might be wrong for some of what we do, but I'ma live so you can find me gone. Play my morning songs till I find the groove to match the mood I'm at, like latitudes and longitudes to Google Maps. Blue and black, dodge your hat, camo in a white tee. Like he's on my feet, make my cipher complete. Kick my days off, serve a man some trees, cause that's what he needs to put his mind at ease. Seen his mother feed for powder dreams. I see the cycle, feel responsible to some degree, but let's be real, they get it somewhere else if it wasn't me. No time to try to teach him, no time to stop and think Made a call to great studio for Ross so we could link yeah. Hello? I got some dough, I need to drop some shit Turn this dirty money into something really positive uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that and I uh, Into something uh, really positive It's like this uh, yeah. It's like that and I uh, Into uh, something really positive It's like this uh, 
golden era hip hop. It's like that and a golden era hip hop. It's like this. It's like that and a hip hop. Look, all I give you is that golden era on the mic. You hold your music out, my shit exclusive, awful tight. I hit the booth with vibes that lift your mood all through the night and make you feel the groove. It's like I do this because I do this right. Uh. So I can show you what improvement like For fear of failure I'll be blind I see no guy that likes And I see plight so I speak light I don't think twice I only pray she'll see my shine So I'm um, in the studio making beautiful musical notes Cause it means more than life to me to do this dope And so I do this dope and then I light my bowl Turn up the volume till I feel that music in my soul BS with Chase and Tech until that week comes to an end Hit the partner off with his ends yo till we meet again Then I'll be gone like the wind with my golden pen Chasing every dream, every win Every hopeless end, uh, every hope to say like that, and uh, 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 it's like this, cause it's like that, and uh, 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 it's like this, yeah, it's like that, and uh, 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 it's like this. It's like that and uh, uh, yeah. And I'm just trying to break the cycles Cycles. Sometimes I feel I might go psycho Psycho. Wish you could see what I'd see when I got my eyes closed Highs and lows, debt piling up, but that's how life goes And I'm just trying to break the cycles Cycles. Sometimes I feel I might go psycho Psycho. Wish you could see what I see when I got my eyes closed Highs and lows, debt piling up, but that's how life goes Yeah Never hip hop. 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 Never